Hello, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, shall we see what is in your energy? Oops. <laughs> what message can I share for you? Message for Sagittarius. I have the Sagittarius card. I have Temperance. I have quite the message for you. Well, quite the Pacific message for you. What is this temperance message for Sagittarius? Four of Cups, Tower, well, are you ruminating about love, Sagittarius? Romantic opportunities, Sagittarius? the balance between it feels like life and love although aren't they the same thing you can't have life without love right that's what my cats tell me with their little noses they're like Life wouldn't be the same without them. For me. Let's see. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups has a page of pentacles. Ace of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Sagittarius, this is you working diligently towards or for a love connection or will somebody be working towards you? Tower. Do you wonder why we have Page of Swords, Queen of Swords dynamic in an opportunity? they're the same person let's see four of cups gets a knight of swords we have no we don't have all the court cards well we could oh, it's gonna pull a few more <laughs> knight of swords three of cups three of well this one is wondering what kind of people to engage with. So Sagittarius, this could be you wondering who do you spend time with, or this could be somebody having a Rolodex of people and wondering who do they reach out to and for what. Somebody is examining their social options. Ace of Pentacles gets the Magician. Knight of Wands, we have three Knights. Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius, I think I see a theme coming. King of Swords. And Page of Pentacles. Sagittarius. Now, as you know, roles can be reversed, right? Sagittarius, this could be you. 
This could be somebody coming at you. I almost feel like if this is you, then this is you and the male energy. And if not, this is someone coming towards you. Because this feels very, very active, not passive. It does feel like male energy. To me, it feels like male energy. And Sagittarius, there's someone who's thinking about you. Well, thinking about you in conjunction with other people, other options. This person is wondering who to engage with and for what. And, you know, to what end. literally saying do I like the color green more than I like the color blue of course blue is a primary let's put it this way do I like the color green more than I like the color orange you know kind of like that and if I went with the color green what would I where would I use it would I wear it would I decorate my home with it and if I went with orange how would that change my life, right? That's what this person is doing. They're comparing people and you're one of them. Sagittarius under tower. You know this person to some extent. They know of you. Justice, seven of cups. King of Swords, so this person is evalu- I already said they're evaluating you among their options, right? Sagittarius, this person neglected you. And Sagittarius, if you're thinking about approaching someone, you neglected somebody. In this energy. Masculine energy. Somebody was neglected. And for some reason now, you know, you're you're on the the active consideration list what do they call it not the wait list or is it the wait list I forget Sagittarius anyway yeah someone is like in this energy they're going to resurrect you <laughs> and you know Sagittarius it's like the only thing that you have on your mind is creating a solid foundation with the people around you so whether it's commitment or just like steady friends steady level-headed constant dependable friends right that kind of energy um i think your primary concern is is this king who neglected you capable of offering you that so we do have a match pair sagittarius is this someone who you have affinity you could have affinity with but look at like the mindsets, the energy difference between you. This is day and night. This makes this king even colder. And in the energy of seven of cups and justice, this is a cold person. A detached person. You know, I somebody was talking to me about detachment, Sagittarius. And there was some other word they used. Some other word starting with D. It wasn't denial. And it wasn't distancing, but it literally was like the the line between when you say that you're detached and you're able to let go and then the point when you just don't care you've lost your human ability to empathize and some people are there going oh I, I'm just detaching you know this is too much hassle but are they really doing that Sagittarius or are they losing have they lost have they effectively killed one of the beauties of the human range of emotion and that is to care 
that is to nurture. Cutting off really is such a cruel act. This queen knows that. So she's hesitant about getting with a king, her counterpart, who can ignore so easily. Anyway, you know, there's an opportunity here, um, uh, Sagittarius. There is, but it's like this person's concerned with having a good time and seeing where it goes. No expectations. I will say to Sagittarius with the whole no expectations thing, you know, when people want something of a certain level, they, they want it. They're not going to go, oh, we'll see where it goes. If they come to you in that kind of energy, you already know that. The feelings they have for you. You know, it's not uh, absolute. And then as that person goes around and does whatever, gets whatever they need, needed boost from you. When they find somebody who they do want that absolute connection with. Where will that put you, Sagittarius? There is a natural affinity there, but that person doesn't see you in the same weight as you see them. They're also not capable of it. They don't want to be. Anyway, they're going to make an offer to hang out. It's up to you what you want to do, Sagittarius. That's the message I have for you. You have a love connection that's approaching you. And I feel like this person has some serious, this person is a cold person, and I think this person can easily hurt you. Honestly, that's what I think. And I think this person could easily hurt you and then not care like two bits afterwards how you felt about it. And they couldn't care two bits afterwards, let's say if you still felt a certain way about them a month later or so forth. They'd be like, oh, it was no big deal. What are you talking about? That was nothing. Anyway, signs you could be dealing with. Well, lots of air signs, right? No, I kind of forget. Is this Capricorn or Taurus with the Ace of Pentacles? You can look that up. Um, I believe this is Four of Wands, Aries, could be. Anyway, strong Scorpio all the air signs Libra Aquarius Gemini it's strong Scorpio I said that well actually this is Pisces you have all the the, the sword cards the sword court sword court cards she thinks this is Taurus isn't it no it's a Capricorn I'm going to have to look, so just pardon me for a second. This it annoys me. Ace of Pentacles. It must be Capricorn, right? Let me see Zodiac. Yes, Capricorn, because it's um in the same grouping as Cancer and Aries. So yeah, it could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Leo. There was a couple other instances of Cancer, that's Cancer energy too. Anyway, strong air signs though. Very strong air signs. You have all the court cards here. That's my message for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let me know if this message resonates. If it does, leave a like or a comment. And if you'd like to donate to the collective, that would be appreciated. Put on candles and whatnot. I went down to my last candle. And if you are watching and a subscriber, thank you for your energy. If you're watching and not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. 
you would like a personal reading from Mystic Moons, you can email down in the description, Mystic Galaxy Moons, or you can catch me on a live. And I am wishing all of you the most beautiful weekend, the most beautiful day. Bye, Sagittarius. <laughs>